We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Grim. Tell me. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Hexon Oilers take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, no game, no man. I can't. 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 Hey, man. You see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Ah, uh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. And he's off to the races. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And the defense jumps up sides trying to mutilate the QB. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service located just off the Beltway exit five. First down and one. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. He is running like... 
like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mom, then that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. And that'll bring up second and one. I just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. First down and seven. And he catches it for a touchdown. Oh, what a beautiful play. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical. Uh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Uh, thank you. I do my part. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and one. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. into 
the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. <laughs> I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. Third and four. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And he's running like a moose right now. First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has been a foot worked out at me on a kind of not crunching and cheeks. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. That goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down in a very lot. down and well good luck and that is a big game you know the defense wants some payback after that you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. But that means you can wrap up the 
You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second down and two. Oh, look at this guy. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First down and nine. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and a lot. Oh, this berserk 30 trick ain't fair to the kill. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the MFL winning is really about how much you wanted, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is... Even though he's a big, nasty D lineman, he's still got his hands up for the deflection. Second down and ten. defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Two minutes left in the half. Third down and eight. First and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and more than the QB would like. target more often. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second. That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Third down, and never going to happen. Defense 
gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. the third quarter and we are set to go bricks oh boy where we going man a carnival huh? uh, gonna go with a strip tease show where we going hey why don't you settle down just pet your rabbit lenny yeah, just you pet your rabbit go with me well you mistaken man you get up my grill i'm gonna ruin your world i'm gonna wreck it when you get knocked down you gotta get right back up and fight yeah what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every up, and he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and five. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. It's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and nine. About a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. With the punishing hit. Yeah. And that'll be second and eight to go. He runs it for three. Third down and six. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Yeah. 
quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all your mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Second down and long. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And the ball is lateral, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. Boo, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. up 10 on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and 10. Nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Third down and three. The defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the uh, no? That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go. He paid yards on that pass. Second down and two. First down. First and eight to go. Oh, what a brutal hit. And that'll be second down and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Hey, 
Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. He's not going down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down in a mile. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Third down and the punter is warming up. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. four more downs to punish the defense and you better if you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick you're gonna lose pal you kind of deserve it if you're this dance grim third down in the qb offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery needs a miracle. Nice pickup for six yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit. The quarterback goes down. down in a lot. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolves. <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good.
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole one to lick either. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, Shaman Fritz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I... First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Ooh. And it's first and... They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. I like this. They're going for two. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Look out. That's an all-out attack on the kick. This guy can talk before he dies. What do you think he'd be saying, Rick? Psycho killer. Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, I'm scared of Silla. I am a hell of a fellow. And that's their last time out. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Second down and long. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Third down and long. in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Good! 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattached my big... The Cincinnati Bengals get mangled today in a devastating home loss. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad slipping. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? That's too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every.